What's going on beer lovers? Welcome to another episode. Today we're mixing two of our favorite things in the world. Coffee and alcohol. So if you're ready, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. I'm Jeff. And I'm Jacob. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not reviewing beer. We're actually reviewing some hard coffee. This is from Newground, uh, based out of North Carolina. And basically they sent me these hard coffee cans, 5% uh, ABV, and uh, one is a coffee latte and one is a chai latte. But yeah, I, I know this is a beer channel, so a lot of you guys are probably totally turned off by this. But if you're anything like me, I drink three liquids. Beer, water, and coffee. <laughs> so if I can take two of those and mix them together in some way, that's a win for me. So we're going to review their product. We're going to give you guys some non-biased opinions about how they taste. And uh, you can decide for yourself whether or not this is something you'd be interested in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the first one. That is a cafe latte. It says premium malt beverage with Dutch cream and natural flavors. Ooh, and it is on nitro. That's a fun... Oh, wow, I can smell the like coffee. <laughs> so we're pour, just going to... Pour, 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 pour. Ooh, we're going to mess. <laughs> I know, I've got to keep the can closed. So one thing that I like about these cans is they are small format, which in all honesty, if you're providing yeah, enough like punch, those. you're getting your job done. It's kind of like a Red Bull can size. Um, but yeah, uh, just checking out the actual coffee itself. It looks beautiful. It's like that nice, like creamed coffee. Oh yeah. Kind of, kind of vibe there uh, on nitro, by the way. This smells better than I thought it was going to. Um, so I've had, I'm actually that guy that I go to the grocery store with my wife and I look at the, the giant like fridge of like canned beverages um, and I just pick a new one almost every time. I like to tell my friends that like my house is constantly stocked with beverages. It is just, I fucking, the mate, I got the beer, we got the wine, we got the liquor, we got tea, we got coffee. Like, fucking, what do you want? We don't what's your flavor? We, we don't Baby, soda, what's but your everything flavor? other than soda. Uh, I got carpeted water, <laughs> fucking LaCroix up the ass. Uh, <laughs> I love beverages, I love drinking flavors. It's just, it's just fucking, that's who I am. Fucking rip me in the chat, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Um, so I'm kind of expecting that I will like this because this is the thing that I would buy. <laughs> this was made for me. Um, well, that's based on the fact of whether or not you enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, but it looks good. It looks good. It smells great. Yeah. As funny as it sounds, you know what it reminds me of is it actually reminds me of a trip I took to Lake Mead in Nevada when I was a young child and there was this ice cream, like ice cream cart pushing along and I got to pick an ice cream and I, mm, for whatever bad, reason, as an eight year old, I thought cappuccino would be a good choice. <laughs> uh, and actually this aroma reminds me directly of that ice cream. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, it kind of is like a slightly less sweet, um, if you've ever gone to Costco and got that big mix of like cappuccino like powder shit, um, my parents love that. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, it kind of smells like that but with a little bit less sugar, which I'm thankful for. Alright, well, let's dig in. Yeah. Cheers. Ooh, I... Fucking love nitro coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is tasty. I want. Do you have ice cream? <laughs> Can we put a scoop of ice cream in this? So the first thing I'm gonna note is we have been drinking before we reviewed this. Yeah, I've actually already had this before this Ooh. review. I'm not getting any alcohol on the flavor at all. However, when I tried it previously, you get that slight alcoholic malted beverage kind of vibe but it's very, very subtle. 
Uh, right now, I don't taste it at all. I, you I taste get, it? Yeah, I can get a little bit. Um, I've been trying to, I've been attempting to pace myself. Uh, uh, yeah, it goes down fast, man. I mean, come on. But yeah, this is definitely, Six it ounces. is, it's not as sweet as some other coffee beverages I've had. Like, I have a lot of the, um, like the Asian coffee beverages and cans. Those are hella sweet. This isn't, this is not that level. Um, so to me, this is a little bit on the lower sweetness spectrum of coffee, of canned coffee drinks. Um, I can tell it has some alcohol. There's just a certain bite to it that it's coming now. Yeah, yeah the, the the normal canned coffee just doesn't have. That being said, this is dangerous. <laughs> you, there's just it's too creamy. And Look, too, it's almost it, done. Yeah, it's it's, it's only seven ounces, five percent. I mean, try doing the math. Try being Zach Galifianakis in The Hangover, and all the little numbers and shit are going through your head. That's what I'm picturing right now because I'm trying to figure out how many of these I can have before I get shit can wasted. I will say in terms of flavor, it does. it's not like you French pressed your coffee and added, you know, steamed milk, for sure. Um, there is definitely a kind of like canned coffee drink quality to this. That being said, the nitro really does elevate it for me. Yeah. Um, no, it definitely, it, it turns it from a mediocre like cream coffee experience to just like a quality good yeah smooth like i've had rich. i've had the like mr coffee uh, if you ever go to like a 99 ranch or something like that this is better than that <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i don't just say i would say this is pretty tasty um i kind of made for someone like me who was just like going through the aisles going i haven't had that before um I think this would be really fun for uh, both of us when we go to kind of our music festivals where we are definitely day drinking, but we also are like really um, have a heinous lack of sleep. F <laughs> fighting to stay alive. <laughs> yeah. This uh, is the lifeblood yeah, of a of, festival yeah. goer. I really, <laughs> if any of you guys like rave or like do music festivals <laughs> or like any kind of like weird party experience where you're just like, I should be sleeping, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> I feel like this is kind of meant for that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Or if you, any of you guys have convinced your work to like continue the work from home experience, this is a great fucking morning drink. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to yeah. you know start the day. <laughs> People are like, "What are you drinking?" You're like, "Coffee." Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've talked about this one. The next one up is going to be the chai latte. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we have tried the cafe latte. Next up is the chai latte. Uh, by the way, this says real tea with notes of aniseed. I don't know what that is. Coriander, nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice. What a white guy. What is aniseed? What, what is it? It's seed from an anna. <laughs> aniseed is a seed from an anna. I don't know what um, I'm like. This is a lot of Asian food. So if you guys aren't so much a coffee fan that you fancy tea, this might be the way that you go with new ground. Well, looking at this uh, chai latte, I will say that it is a lot lighter. You can still see the separation of the head. It's definitely a lot lighter. Taking a whiff of it, it's got amazing spices in there. You definitely get like the allspice, the nutmeg. Mmm. Smells delectable. I'm not a huge tea person, by the way, but yeah, so I, have, I can get down with some chai tea. I have some uh, chai tea leaves at home. This is actually punchier than those are, um, which to go with coffee kind of makes sense. Um, the chai that I have is not meant to go with coffee. It's meant to just be on its own. Um, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, that being said, yeah, it's definitely, I kind of smell that anise. Oh, it's uh, like star anise. Yeah, anise has kind of got that like licorice uh, is it, thing So is it on. seed of star anise? Is that? I think anise? so, yeah. That would um, make more sense. Anyways. I'm terrible at biology. Let us know in the comments if you know what aniseed is. I'm guessing it's seed of star anise, but 
Whatever. Cheers. Yep, I can taste that anise. I am not a big licorice fan, so that is not necessarily my favorite flavor. Um, but I think if you like chai for the most part, you're pretty happy with this. Um, I can't taste the other spices. It tastes pleasant. Oh, I, I still get cardamom, nutmeg. Yeah, you can get some of the cardamom. I just personally, I prefer coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for the cafe latte it was more my jam. I like coffee with just a little bit of something uh, to kind of mellow it out. Um, this is definitely a little bit heavy-handed on some of the spices, uh, but I've also had some beers that were more heavy-handed than this. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'm looking at you, Bottle Logic. <laughs> They're, they are not the only ones, though. I know. <laughs> uh, there's a whole laundry list of breweries that are just like, um, all the adjuncts. Yeah. Um, so that being said, this is actually this is pretty drinkable for being a chai spice, you know, drink beverage. Yeah, I, I would kind of agree with Jacob. I mean, I'm not, as I already said, I'm not a tea person. Um, definitely more coffee bound uh, when it comes down to it. Um, as a chai tea, it's still very inviting. I'm pretty sure that anybody that's into chai tea would probably still enjoy this quite a bit. It's basically got just ramped up flavors of probably what you're used to in a chai tea. Um, I really like the milky texture of this one. Oh yeah. It's definitely softer, smoother, silkier. Um, but I do agree with Jacob. The spices are a little bit heavy on it, uh, but Still not bad. I'll still drink I, shit out of this. I think the average consumer that maybe isn't uh, necessarily craft beer centric, they're <laughs> probably looking for something this profile. So I think for a lot of you that may be watching this that are like, beer's kind of whatever, this is probably perfect for you. Um, I also will say that the nitro for these drinks really does bring it like a notch up. Yeah, um, it makes a big difference for sure. Yeah, uh, especially just nitro coffee is kind of a fun thing in general. Um, so having it being hard coffee and nitro and having these kind of flavors, uh, I think does go a long way. I think I think if it wasn't nitro and it was just flat, I, I, especially this one, I wouldn't really enjoy as much. Um, this is still drinkable to me. I think if it was flat, I wouldn't really be. Let her into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that we've tried both uh, both the chai tea and the cafe latte from New Ground, let's go ahead and discuss the products overall. So one thing I want to get into is who is this product meant for? Is this meant for the casual beer drinker? No. It's it, it's probably not. Um, is this meant for somebody who loves coffee or chai tea? Maybe. Um, but when I sit there and I think about, like, in a real world setting, where would this product really come in handy? I have to sit back and think, when was a time where I was super tired and I needed a nice solid pick-me-up so I can go out and fucking rage my face off and I I want to sit there and say for all of you out there who work maybe a Monday through Friday and Friday night comes and all your friends are going out to the bars to the clubs whatever it may be and they want you to come along and you're just friggin exhausted you just want to watch Grey's Anatomy and go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this product might be for you if you're somebody who used to drink Red Bull before you went out for the night, this product may be for you. We hit a couple of raves last night. It was totally off the hook. Yeah, you seem a little hyper. I had a couple of Red Bulls. You ever had a Red Bull? I never had a Red Bull before, but I had a Red Bull last night. I really like Red Bull. Uh, the reason why I say that is because as a coffee drink, as a chai tea drink, if you like either of those categories, the product itself is actually really good. And then it's just got the added benefit of 5% alcohol. So I remember my college days, man. I used to pre-party. I used to chug Red Bulls. 
like, you know, you got to get ready to go out and own the night. Uh, yeah, I feel like there might be a chunk of our craft beer viewers that might watch this wanting us to rip on it. But the thing is, they're not that bad. Like, they're pretty tasty. The chai one, not really my thing. But if you handed me the latte one, I'd, I'd drink the shit out of that. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, would I buy that myself? Not regularly, but I think if I did have, like, a certain trip... Uh, in mind where I was going to be like maybe camping, uh, music festival, or taking a, a trip game. to Vegas. Yeah, um, I can see this being like great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's not a everyday thing. It's not a, a regular purchase for me, but I think there are special occasions where I'd be like, hey, you know what? Let's grab some of that hard coffee shit because that would be perfect for what we're about to do. So it's got, it has its moments, is basically what I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, for me, this is a pre-party pick-me-up in a can. Yeah. That it, like, if I could give you a clear indication of what this product is to me, it is a delicious pre-party in a can. Um, with that being said, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Yeah. Uh, I know this isn't beer-related, but hopefully <laughs> it was useful to you. If you felt like it was any way useful, please give us a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate the support. You know, we work really hard to make this stuff. I wanna give a shout out to Newground. Thank you so much for sending this product. It's very unique. Um, yeah. And overall, I would say we very much enjoyed it. So thank you so much for sharing your product with us. And uh, until next time, we'll see you again on Let's, Let's Have, have some, some Beer. beer. Cheers. Or coffee. You know, or whatever. coffee. Whatever. Whatever your preference is. Or chai latte. <laughs> I mean, it's all good. We're all getting drunk, right? Woo! Woo! Hey, what's going on, beer lovers? I know a lot of you out there have tried Pliny the Elder, but have you ever tried Pliny for President? If you're curious about finding out what this beer tastes like, stay tuned.